Hey guys, Patriot coming to you with a desktop review. I've got uh, five ultralight Patriot approved backpacking type uh, pieces of gear here. And the reason that I say type pieces of gear is because you can use this for anything. I threw in backpack because all five items that you'll see in uh, here, including this one, are in my seven day wilderness backpack. They've proven to be, the, uh, be reliable and lightweight and uh, highly uh, usable. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, the first item here, and by the way, I've already done this review once, but I got done with it and it was 25 minutes long. I, I am such a detail person and it's amazing how long I can blather on about stuff. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to try to shorten this up for you guys. Anyhow, this is an outdoor products brand and you can get this at, uh, at Walmart. I think I picked this one up at REI. Another thing about everything I'm going to show you in here, I'll mention the prices too. This is about $6. I think it was $5.95. And um, this is just an ultra light day pack. Now, I don't think that I would ever use this for an actual hiking pack even if it was a half day hike but what I would use something like this for and what I do use it for is it's an accessory to your main carry system whether that's a seven day wilderness kit a bug out bag a disaster relief kit uh, maybe you have a disaster relief kit that's 60 pounds like I do and it's in a big duffel bag and maybe you want to subdivide this that duffel bag down into or among six people so for about six dollars uh, times six so for you know under 40 bucks you can put six of these bags in that uh, they don't take up much space you can put six bags within uh, that kit and you can subdivide it down this is uh, again something that's in my seven day wilderness kit if I get out to where I'm going and I set up my hammock and I get camp set up rather than hiking that uh, 45 pound pack down to my water source or the creek or the water hole, whatever. I can uh, put my hydration platter in here, have my 10 C's of survivability in here, and I can go down, get water, and, uh, and bring this back up. And basically it allows you to take a rest. It allows you to take a load off. Uh, this is just simple nylon. It's super lightweight. It weighs about two and a half to three ounces. This one's been lightened up a little bit. You can see that I've shortened the shoulder straps and burned the ends. I've also taken the metal zipper tabs off and replaced it with uh, some uh, 175 pound Spectra cord just to kind of lighten things up. I've taken a piece of shoestring or whatever it was in, in here. This is the cinch down feature by the way that kind of cinches down the backpack and I've also replaced that with 175 pound spectra you can use anything you can use county com utility cord or uh, anything that's of reasonable strength this is 175 pounds breaking strength so uh, you're not going to have any issue there and it's high visibility you can see if, even at nighttime this uh, this bright cord shows up this little day pack is a two compartment system. You have the main compartment here, and then you have a small wallet or key pocket right here that's accessible from the top. You can see about how big that is. You could easily put a wallet, your keys, uh, uh, face net, whatever, whatever you want to put in there. The rest is a single compartment. I've got it stuffed with the other four items that I'm going to show you today. But I find this to be a highly versatile product. It's lightweight and it's inexpensive. That's what I like about it. Sea to Summit makes a, uh, a very high quality, lightweight day pack that's uh, along the same lines of this uh, as this. It's very similar in design. They probably have a little bit more sophisticated stitch and cinch, cinch down system. Also, the uh, shoulder straps on it are very thin. They use like a very thin quarter inch camera strap that goes up into a larger, slightly nicer uh, nylon that, uh, shoulder strap that's extended down. It's probably even lighter than this a little bit. But again, the way that I've got this one rigged with everything shortened and the metal off of it and uh, the spectra cord, it's about two and a half ounces, so uh, super lightweight. And uh, where I was going with the Sea to Summit bag, the only problem that I have with that bag is that it's about 34 bucks. So if you gotta have the best equipment on something like this, to me, this is like a, a backup piece of gear. So it's not a primary piece of gear, 
primary pieces of gear I don't mind spending a little bit of extra money on but for something that I'm just gonna have on for 15 minutes to get down to my water source and get back or to go on a little scout to check my traps I would probably take this with uh, my water and uh, my uh, tendencies of survivability just a handy little system let's go on to the next item here all right haven't decided what I'm gonna show you next let's go with this mosquito netting this is a very fine weave mosquito net netting this is a Coglins brand mosquito net very inexpensive I think it's about two or three dollars don't know the exact price it doesn't have it's not like extra long or anything this is just a handy piece of gear because everyone knows you know we don't have it too bad in Arizona with the bugs but certain times of the year it is really annoying to have the mosquitoes especially if you're in a survival situation or maybe you you just want to be able to relax a little bit and not have the mosquitoes in and out of your mouth and ears and everywhere else that they like to go this is a great item also uh, for in the case of uh, Africanized bees it's really nice to be able to don something quickly and have a minimal amount of protection at least for your head where you've got you know five of your senses are right there and uh, and you really want to protect your head from uh, from stings and venom and that type of thing um, sometimes you can handle you can I, I know I can handle something on my arm a lot better than I can my upper lip so uh, so um, you know th th this is multifunction you can put uh, wet clothes in here or damp clothes when I'm hiking I like to stop at, at lunchtime and change out socks to take my damp socks off throw them in something like this tie this to the outside of my pack and let those vent and air out as I enjoy some nice fresh dry socks also, if you have a damp night in the forest or it's raining and you wake up and you've got a few wet pieces of gear, as long as they're not too big, uh, you can fit something in here. Like you could put a polypropylene jacket as long as you're not XXX large. You could stuff that in here and that can dry out as you're walking as long as you've got some dry conditions. So uh, it's a multi, uh, multi-function piece of gear. Like I said, you can uh, stuff this down and use it as a filter. Um, I know a lot of people will use a bandana for that. That's fine too. I'm not a bandana guy. I typically go with a microfiber cloth, which uh, which is in my Seven Day Wilderness kit, and uh, this would also add. This is would act as a coarse filter or a high speed filter to get leaves and bugs and other things out of your water. This is so lightweight. This is the lightest item that we're going to review today of the five items. This is so lightweight that I can actually carry two of these, and in carrying two of these, I have a little bit of redundancy. You can actually put this on your face and it will uh, lower your observability so you're not going to have uh, critters uh, that can see you uh, as easily. Now a lot of masks, hunting masks, will have the eyes cut out and I've archery hunted with a mask like that for a long time. It's great for when you're comfortable, you're going home to a, a, a warm tent or a, a trailer or whatever you're staying in and uh, and you, you can deal with a little bit of mosquitoes or bugs with the open eyes it's not a big deal and you're primarily focused on hunting but in this circumstance this could be a survival item and you don't want an open hole in there it's just one more way for critters to get in great little item multifunction alright next item on the list let's go with this is an item that I've actually uh, done a review on before, so I don't want to spend a whole lot of time. Gorilla, gl Gorilla Grip Gloves. Great glove. Man, I've, got, I've probably got about 10 pairs of these now, and uh, they are one of my favorite all-time gloves, especially here in Arizona where our temperatures you know, are, are way up there. You can see how fine that is, so the back of your hand can breathe really well, and as long as I'm not standing in direct sunlight, because this is black and so you would really feel that uh, this is vented really nicely and so it lets even the the palm area you can see it's it, it's vented all the way around here it's vented halfway down through the fingers and everything so as you move your hand some of that moisture can escape and vent out the top of the glove it has some pretty good puncture resistance and it has a lot of re abrasion resistance it's also hack, uh, highly tactile so it's got a lot of uh, grip to it this actually works great as a shooting glove fits close to your uh, the, the fit is real tight you can see I don't have a lot of extra material there on the fingers so I can manipulate and I can feel small items very good obviously this isn't a winter weather glove 
or uh, even a fall or spring glove in a lot of places in the world. But here in Arizona, it's uh, it's great and it's a nice camp glove. Uh, so sometimes you have to sacrifice a little bit of uh, the thermal properties that you might get from gloves in order to get some dexterity. Uh, so it depends on what you're doing. But this is an, uh, a nice pair of uh, gloves to have in a bag. This is what I would have in there probably two or three seasons in my uh, wilderness kit. And uh, in the winter time, I would supplement it with a pair of heavier gloves, uh, Gore-Tex uh, and Thinsulate gloves, which you've seen in my 7-Day uh, Wilderness Pack series if you've seen that. So a great glove. You can't go wrong with this. And inexpensive, ultra lightweight. It's probably the second lightest item next to the mosquito netting. I think these are about four bucks, four or five bucks. All right, on to the next item in the bag here. I can get so long-winded, I have to be careful here. What are we snagged on? Okay, here is our Sea to Summit Spork. Uh, you've probably heard me say many times I'm not much of a spork fan, but it kind of depends on the type of eating that I'm doing. So if I'm in camp and uh, or uh, out hunting or something, and uh, you've got all the equipment there, you've got your Coleman stove, you've got plates and dishes and glasses and a table to sit at, then I, I like a fork because I'm eating more of a normal meal. When I'm backpacking, I'm typically, uh, I eat a lot of mountain house or other free dried, freeze dried foods in bags. And the thing that I like about this, a friend of mine actually put me onto this, is the length here. So I can get down inside that bag without getting, uh, uh, you know, food from the top of the bag uh, on, on my fingers. So it's, it's kind of nice. It's uh, also angled pretty steeply so when I'm reaching down into the bag I can really scoop and shovel a lot of food usually when I'm out there and I'm uh, uh, you know cold tired hungry whatever uh, I can shovel some food down so I eat like a wolf when I'm out there so uh, yeah really great piece of gear I've actually taken two pieces of Lexan utensils the fork and the spoon out of my seven day wilderness kit and uh, exchanged it with this you can see I've got a little piece of spectra cord on there and all that does is makes it a little bit more visible so if I set this down in the forest where there's a lot of blacks and grays and browns uh, this isn't going to disappear as easily so since it's the only one that I'm carrying I don't want to lose it and I've thrown that on there uh, this is 0.38 ounces, super light. It's a uh, 70-75 alloy, and it also came with a little carabiner made out of, I think, the same 70-75 alloy, which I didn't use. Great product, love it. I might get another one for my desert kit as well. All right, let's move on to the last item in the kit, and that is a couple of knee pads. These are made by Tommy Co. and I'll show you the label in just a second. You can see that this is not a a super compact item. So there is a certain amount of bulk with these. Uh, typically a lot less bulk than, a than the typical tactical type knee pad. But this isn't for a tacti tactical purpose. The reason I, I, I'm going with this uh, well, the first reason in my seven-day kit is it's so lightweight, ultra lightweight. It doesn't even register on my on my uh, second scale, which isn't my precision scale. My precision scale is on loan at the moment, so I don't have that with me. Anyhow, this doesn't even register on my uh, higher weight scale. But they have one strap. You know, typically people would frown on that because they want one strap above the kneecap, one below. These are so light that you can put these, uh, put the strap behind you and you can run with these and they will not migrate down your shin or calf, you know. They stay put and it's just because the tension from this big piece of uh, elastic and Velcro on here compared to the weight of the item, it, uh, it's just super secure. And it's just great around camp. Uh, w when I get to where I'm going, I might have to process wood you know, preparing my meals on the ground on a tarp. And uh, it's really easy to kneel down and get a pine cone or a rock right in the kneecap and make you an unhappy camper for the next day or even that night. So I typically am on my knees a lot in camp. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know why, but, uh, you know, it saves the material in your, in your lightweight uh, hiking pants and it keeps the dirt from embedding itself into the fabric, the material, thus taking away its uh, thermal properties and uh, or wearing holes in it so this is just a, a great multi-purpose item I have a set of these in my uh, disaster relief kit I have a set of these in my vehicle along with a tarp and a pair of uh, Gorilla Grip gloves 
great to uh, if you had to, had a mechanical of some type or you had to change a tire it makes a, a big difference in being able to kneel down on a tarp with these on and having Gorilla Grip gloves on it might be the difference uh, from uh, between getting where you're going and having to turn back around and go change your clothes and have a shower because you got yourself so jacked up. Anyhow, super lightweight items. A little bit of bulk, but I found that I can put these up at the very top of my pack and uh, cinch everything down. And just to show you, this is the label for it, Tomico. And it's called the HD220. And if you want the skew, you can go ahead and pause the frame right now and you can get that skew. All right, so just a great product. Uh, again, this isn't going to be a you know tactical use. This is uh, an ultralight option. Well, I would guess at the very minimum, these are going to give you uh, a week or two of hard use, uh, but perhaps longer. It depends on how you use them. All right, guys, there's our five items: our knee pads, our Sea to Summit Sport, Gorilla Grip. <laughs> can't talk. Gorilla Grip gloves. Three G's in a row. Gosh, what do I do? And. Uh, our mosquito netting from Coglins and our little outdoor products ultra light day pack I dare call it a day pack it's more of an accessory pack some people like to go with a haversack some people like to go with a messenger bag I have always I'm not I, I'm not a gear slinger guy I don't like a single sling over me I'm kind of an active person and when I want to be able to move fast or get out of the way of something or you know just whatever I don't like that um, that the load shifts on my body. Oh, by the way, this whole thing with all five items or the uh, all four items inside here is 0 0.40 pounds or about 180 grams for all of the items here. Gosh, I, let me double check that. Yeah, I was second guessing myself there. It's 190 grams. So uh, pretty, uh, well, at least that's what it weighed the second time, 190 grams and 0 0.41 pounds. So <laughs> super light stuff. Here's some ideas for you guys uh, to throw in your bags or uh, add additional equipment to, uh, to your existing kits. But all of this stuff is what I'll call Patriot approved and I've been very happy with it and it seems to uh, be decent equipment, especially at the price point. Everything in here, uh, uh, pretty inexpensive. The Sea to Summit Spoon, by the way, was $9.895, I think. Uh, but uh, that's uh, probably the most expensive thing that I have in here. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, we'll get another video out there very quickly.